Why is a single thread spread across CPUs? I'm just curious why the scheduler constantly moves an app between FIS, rather than keeping it on one. It looks a bit silly to have four cores at 25% rather than one at 100%. Does it has to do with heat, or is it more efficient somehow? Do other OSes do it differently? Insights or links to in-depth stuff would be nice. Couldn't find much myself. Update. By spread out I don't mean that it executes on several CPUs at once, but is being moved from one to the other several times per second, making the effect that it looks spread out. I think where Alp has described the point fairly well. Here is an older article discussing processor affinity, Settings with a quad-core QX6800. The link points to the second page of that article. If you do not force process affinity to a core do you lose some performance? While the Windows scheduler needs to decide such affinity to avoid thrashing with caches. The processor design itself also considers such things. The Intel QX6800 quad-core, since I referred earlier in this answer has an 8 mbl 3 cache shared across its four cores. It should be noted that while you may have chosen to run just this one single threaded process on the system, the OS itself would have several other tasks running which also need to be scheduled. The scheduler balances all this activity across the available processor pool, or cores. Going forward, with an Ahalem architecture in NUMA, processors across multiple sockets will also be able to better address access thrash. Here's a quick picture from an Ars Technica page on NUMA. If Nihalem and i7 interest you, I have some more links at this answer. The scheduler just executes the next thread that is ready for execution on a free core slash CPU. You can assign a process to a specific CPU via the Windows Task Manager. Having four cores at 25% means that four threads are executed simultaneously. Whereas, one core at X% percent means that only one thread is executed. So the former is more efficient in some cases. But during its execution the cache of the CPU is filled with data accessed by the thread. So if the thread gets executed on another CPU, it will experience more cache misses, which are costly, since the data is not in the cache of this CPU. What does your thread do? If the thread sleeps for a very short time the core it was executed on before might be occupied by another thread unless your thread is executed on the next available core. What happens if you specify only one core to be used by your process, for example your task manager? The OS migrates the thread across CPU cores, quickly, several times per second. It is more efficient to run it on the same core all the time. This can be enforced by the set affinity context menu item in Task Manager. Note that usually, typical home use, the difference is in the range of few percents. The four cores each at 25% usage means, as Task Manager shows average use that each core was fully utilized one quarter of time and free the rest of time. The description is for Windows, but it is similar on other operating systems too. It's not. One thread can only run on one processor. However, some processes have multiple threads, which can be spread out. The reasoning, believe it or not, never considered what it looks like. The system tries to spread threads out because it has no way to know when one will spike.